Burnout is a major problem for the healthcare industry because it creates an environment where healthcare providers and administrators are no longer thriving in their profession. There's lower patient care, there's absenteeism, higher turnover, and people leaving prior to retirement. Project Retain is a healthcare workforce resiliency training program funded by the Health Resources Service Administration. The mission of Project Retain is to create regional and national capacity for healthcare workforce retention and overall well being. It's a misconception that healthcare providers don't experience the same up and downs as everyone else. There's no such thing as perfect mental health. If we normalize that stress is going to happen, we can have those markers of when we might need to do something different or when we need to enact stress reduction techniques. Project Retain is creating billing and scheduling codes in order to create a natural habit around self-care and creating a moment where the provider during their workday can take space, can make time and be intentional about a small act of self-care can be like a reset button. Project Retain is making videos and trainings to help increase the resilience of the workforce. These shorter trainings can be taken at their desk, at home, they get to the point, they cover practice-based information that can really go into practice the minute they are completed. Organizations and healthcare providers and public health agencies can take these trainings, they can track the user data, we can provide the analytics to them, and they can understand from those results the mental health of their workforce. Project Retain trainings are currently available to the grant awardees and the partners that we have within the grant structure. As we continue to develop these trainings and learn from these trainings and improve them, they will then be placed on the learning management system in its final version, available to anyone, anywhere, at any time through our publicly accessible asynchronous training system. The ultimate goal is to get as many people to take these trainings as possible to help increase the resilience of our healthcare and our public health workforces. It's really important to use new and innovative ways to collect data to make sure that we're accurately capturing the needs of the healthcare workforce and making sure that their voices are being heard. One of the benefits of using wearable technology in combination with artificial intelligence is that we don't have to only rely on individuals' self-reports regarding their stress. We also can now make our predictions about what will be helpful for them by incorporating objective measurements. Having access to wearable technology and artificial intelligence is really valuable for healthcare providers because they are so busy throughout the day, uh, they may not even necessarily be aware of how they're feeling. Part of what we can push out using wearable AI are what are referred to as low intensity interventions. These are self-managed sort of tools and techniques that folks can use to help regulate stress in the moment as it's happening. I think the future of wearable technology and artificial intelligence is really exciting. It can be both a tool for healthcare providers to use for themselves to help manage stress and anxiety or burnout, and also a tool in their toolkit that they can use with their patients who may also be experiencing mental health symptoms like stress and anxiety. In areas impacted by disaster and other community crisis, it's so important to address burnout because uh, the stressors, the things that impact our lives can be happening all the time. A huge part of burnout is isolation and so collaboration is a huge part of addressing burnout. Some of the collaborative efforts that administrators and providers can use are literally just providing communities of care. A big focus of Project Retain is making sure that we reach as many providers as possible. And so that communication about the space, asking people to come with you, reaching out is so crucial to making sure communities of care sessions are helpful and supportive. 
corporate providers who hold multiple marginalized identities. We hear stories uh, that often mirror our own challenges that we experience in society. And so when we talk about burnout in Project Retain or in other areas, it's so, so important that we're making sure that um, we're talking about burnout in an equitable way. The future of the healthcare industry and creating healthy workforce environments requires a variety of tools that not only support the autonomy of the healthcare provider, but also their person and work-life balance. Project Retain, in combination with other federal grants, are making small changes, and it's the accumulation of those small changes that are going to have the big gains that we hope to see in maybe five to ten years. It's not going to happen overnight, but Project Retain is part of that solution that is creating a healthier nation.